Imagine a GPS that can place you within one centimeter of where you are located on a map. This type of accuracy would not only help keep you and your family safe, it would also help everyone navigate the roads a little better. KXAN's Amanda Dugan talked with researchers at the University of Texas about how they are working to make Austin the first city in the world to support this type of technology. It's called precise vehicle positioning, and it's 100 times more accurate than your standard GPS. Our goal is to do a lot better than regular GPS. Regular GPS gets you good to within maybe 10 feet. We want to be a few inches in, in precision. UT professor Todd Humphreys and his students are working on making this style of precise GPS cheaper and available to everyone in their cars. For example, if your car started to drift out of its lane, this technology could help pull the car back, keeping more drivers safe on the road. Sort of like Dad, you know, rescue you in the last minute if you're going to hit your head on, on, uh, on, on the table. UT researchers are also working on a more intuitive way to drive by projecting routes onto the windshield itself, meaning drivers would no longer have to take their eyes off the road to look at their cell phones. So if we can just illuminate the windshield with a path that takes you home and the path changes as it determines that there are faster or slower routes to home, that just eases the burden on the driver. To acquire this accuracy, 20 solar powered reference stations will be placed around Austin and they will help the GPS pinpoint almost exact location. Austin will be the test bed for this technology and potentially roll out to the rest of the country within the next four years. Amanda Dugan, KXA News. And UT researchers also say the key benefit to this technology is cost. The GPS will be 100 times cheaper than what you can find on the market now. We use uh, GPS devices every day, as you know, but you may not know a lot about the history. In 1973, the U.S. Department of Defense started developing the space-based navigation system. They developed a network of 24 satellites that orbit the Earth and send signal information down to us. The first satellite was launched in 1978, and all 24 were operational by 1995. It was originally intended to help the military, but was made available for everyone to use. And remember, Amanda Dugan has your commute covered with the latest traffic updates every 10 minutes, every weekday morning from 4.30 to 9. You can join us in the morning on KXAN and on the CW Austin.